what I thought is I'm going to make a sort of medium sized sort of serving dish lidded terrine thing really and a bit of a foot sort of pedestal foot and then flaring out at the top never made one before don't know how it will go on with a, making a gallery on something so it's going to be quite flared but we'll give it a go anyway Centre it up. I want to keep the top quite thick all the time so I can put a gallery in, in the top. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sort of lift it up and flare it out with touch so it's going to be a bit wider at the top. I'm still leaving enough thickness to put the gallery in. So to put the gallery in, I'm just going to use my finger. Like so squeeze down to form a ledge. Let's slow it down a bit now. And to make the top pedestal foot I'm just going to push in the base. And now hopefully I should be able to just flare it right out wide and hope it doesn't collapse. measure the, the width so I can make a lid to fit so that's going to be the maximum just a touch narrower that's about the right thing I'll put a couple of handles on as well just for a bit of a design effect but that's the bowl anyway so that's all right Get on and make the try and make the lid. Never really know how much clay to use with these. I think that should be about right. I want this to be quite a shallow lid, not a big round one. Not flat, but just slightly con. Convex, concave, depending on which direction you're looking at it. So I'll centre it quite flat like that. And really, it's just a matter of digging under a touch and then slowly widening it out, giving a slight bow to the clay. Just check every now and again to make sure I don't throw it too wide. Oops, You're too wide already. Let's 
just about the right width. So that's what it's going to look like. Obviously I'll trim a lot off, make it a rounder shape, but I'll just give it a quick test just to make sure it does fit and it isn't way too big. Yeah, so that's spot on. So tomorrow when they're all dried up a bit, I'll trim them, put a couple of handles on, trim and trim the lid, turn the lid and put a knob on it and we'll see how it looks. Well, Alright folks, it's the next day so I'll uh, just turn the my terrain up. It's not going to need much trimming. Quite smooth, just get bits of drawing lines out. A little bit of detail in the foot and plinth. the colour on the rim. Just a touch of blue cobalt. And another bit, just took it down there. So that's that bit done, we'll do the lid in a minute or two. I'm just going to stick a couple of uh, lug handles on, just made a couple of simple lug handles. Stick these on. So dark in here. <laughs> I'll just force them on. Plenty of slip on. You could pull some handles, anything you like, really. I'll just find my little brush. Oh, not organised again. <laughs> Make a seal, a seal, tidy the seal up. That's one on, put the other one on the other side. Make sure it's opposite. At the same height. Push it on, plenty of slip on. Quite soft handle, so there's no problem about them sticking on. Just smooth the, the join over. So that's the handles put on. I'll just push it up a bit. I think that's maybe make it look a little bit nicer, like a bit a couple of horns. So that's the uh, the bowl done. Now we'll get on and do the do the lid, the fiddly bit. So this is the lid. Obviously the wrong way up. So I'll just try and trim a bit of this rubbish out from underneath before I cut it off, flip it over, and throw the knob on. on a bigger bat. Again with my little lines on, circular lines which are a guide to centre in it so I don't need to tap centre. So if I line it up with these, I'll draw loads of them because the bat's a bit slippy, it should be centred. You can see that's centred. So again I'll just put a few bits of clay on just to keep it in place. While I tidy it up. I'm not going to need to do much with it. 
this actually, because it's about the right shape now. So what I'll do now, no need, not really any need to score it, but I will do, just to keep people happy. I'm just going to throw a little knob on, just judge a piece of clay, that'll do I think. So I'll just roll it into a bit of a, a knob shape before we start. I'll just put a big dollop of slip on, probably a bit big actually, take a bit off. Push that on, and then we'll try and throw a knob. It's a bit off centre, isn't it? Try and throw a knob with minimal water so we don't make a mess. I want to get it nicely bonded onto the lid first. The main point. the lid done and try it and put it on the pot now which shouldn't really do because it's it's too wet still but we'll give it a go and for the sake of the video so there we go that's the terrain done lid's a little bit tight actually but the lid's wetter than the the, but the other pot so it'll shrink and fit. So that's it done, my terrain. And a couple of handles on. Doesn't look too bad, quite pleased with that. So that's that folks. Bit of a close up. 